This is Code.org. I'm currently working on their Hour of Code course, Frozen, and I am, well, it's actually called Code with Anna and Elsa. I'm on level 10. All right. Use a repeat around these blocks to create a parallelogram. Ooh, technical term, right? A parallelogram is a, well, you could think of it as a rectangle with slanted sides, right? It's just like, oh, they say. A rectangle that has different angles. This one has 60 degrees and 120 degree angles. Oh, 60 degree and 120 degree angles instead of all 90 degree angles. Okay. And so here's where our code goes. This is our code options, game screen. That's how we test our code. Let's see what our code does so far. Okay, so Anna is just going forward. Try replacing the question marks. All right, so win run. Um, and it wants us to do this within eight blocks is what it's asking. Right now we have five blocks of code, and that's because that's what they show us with. So when we move forward, we move forward by 100, turn right. Oh, we never turned right. Anna never turned right. Um, oh, we have to pick the degrees. Oh, that's tricky. So is it a 60 degree angle here or 120? Well, if you think of a square, a square's angle is 90. So does this look bigger or smaller than the angle of an edge of a square? I think it's bigger. So I'm going to try 100 and, uh, 120. I think it's going to be more like that. But let's try. You can always make mistakes with code, right? It's called debugging. So I'm going to hit run. Oh, see? Nope, totally wrong. So it's actually this angle is going to need to be, if it's not that, it must just be a 60 degree. So we just, oh, we just want to turn 60 degrees. That would make sense, I think. Because the angle, yes. So the angle must be 120 and we're turning 60. Got it. And so if we turned 60 here, then for this angle, I bet we're going to need to turn 120. Let's give it a shot and see. I'm going to speed it up a bit. Oh yeah, that looks successful, but we need to go forward. Now I can start repeating this code, move forward, turn right, move forward, but that would get us beyond our eight blocks. I think that would do nine, which is why we have these repeat things, right? If I gr grab it, drag it over here, use a repeat block. So now I'm going to grab all of this code, drop it in, and now I need to attach this. Anything within the pink area now, is going to repeat twice or however many times I want if I change that number. So we'll move forward, turn right, move forward, turn right again, boop, hits the bottom, goes back to the top and runs it all again. All right, let's give this a shot and see what happens. Oh, perfect. So that's the code that worked for me with the repeat and it was a 60 and 120. Awesome, let's keep going.